Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. It, this is a tutorial with a difference because it's using our brand new stamps that we have launched today. Not only that, it's our first day of our online fairy fest, our fairy craft festival for four days. So we start today, finish Sunday. So I hope you've managed to tune in today to watch the lovely Jo, Karen, Emma Jo, and now I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you. And then after myself, it's going to be Sarah Anderson. And then at seven o'clock, I will be announcing the winner of our 200 pound gift voucher giveaway. So do stay tuned for that. Let's make a start on our card this evening and I'm going to be using all the floral stamps that we've released. First of all, I'm going to use the mystical sprays. I want something really, really subtle, um, almost like a watercolour background. And that's because the stamps, the floral stamps I'm going to be using are a 3D image. So they're not silhouettes so much. and so when you're stamping a three-dimensional image you need to make sure the background's quite light um, otherwise you'll lose that detail so i've picked a couple of colors here you can choose whatever colors you like any colors will work with this technique okay so i've got spring mo moss i've got mahogany twist and i've got chestnut bay so let's make a start. I'm going to shake because of the micas in them. And then I'm going to do a little bit of spritzing. And then I've got mahogany twist. So let's put a little bit of pink in as well. And we've got the spring moth. Let's bring a little bit of that lovely blue in as well. And now I'm just going to use some water. So Give that a good spray down and just move your card about until that desired effect. And then we're just going to leave that dry. I'm going to speed things up with the heat gun. So you can see from that how much I've watered that background down to make it really sort of light and pastel and it's got that beautiful mica running through as well. I hope you can see that under the camera there. I'm going to start with the dandelion stamp and I'm going to ink up in the twilight to start with. So the stamps are really quite detailed, so just take your time until it's all covered. And then we're going to pop that down, I'm going to just pop it up quite high. And then all I'm going to do is turn the stem around and carry it on further down the card. So ink the stem up. Turn it round and just join up, join up the best that you can. Don't worry too much because we will be adding lots of other um, floral stamps down at the bottom here anyway. Okay, so next up I'm going to ink up the dandelion. This is at its next stage or well, early stage should I say before it goes into seed so again give that a good ink up and then let's get that down round about there now these are your prominent stamps so I don't want to overlap these because you'll just lose them 
if you stamp over the top of each other. So again I'm going to turn that stamp around, in cap, just join that stem. And then we've got our smaller, smaller one here that's closed up. And I'm going to pop that down along the side there. Again, I'm going to turn that round, join it up. And there we go. Moving on, I've got my other floral stamp here. And I'm going to ink up in the warm breeze. So this is a really nice, delicate stamp. And I've left all the seed heads open on this so you can colour them in whichever colour you like. They're quite nice with the uh, Posca pens, just colouring in those ends. So I'm going to turn the stamp round and I'm going to ink up again. And this time I'm going to go a little bit lower. Okay. Do we put one there? No. I'm going to move on now. We can always come back to it if we feel like it needs more. I think what I'm going to do now is ink up in the Glamorous. And I'm going to stamp that down. And another one. at the side here as well. Just be careful not to overlap those flowers otherwise it can start looking a little bit messy so just be mindful of that. I've got medieval blue here stem inking up again just to make it look like it's one long um, stem so they join up really quite nicely and now this is another little flourish which is a great stamp for either hanging down or growing up and this time I'm going to ink up in the golden meadow which is a fabulous yellow it's like a mustard yellow, almost green. And I'm going to pop this going up the page like so. So now we want to add a little bit of depth down at the bottom here. Now we've got a mini stamp here. Where would we be without our mini stamps? They're always so useful, They're great little fillers. I'm going to bring in a little bit of depth down at the bottom here now. Let 
let's leave it there for now we can always add more I might bring in some of the elements now so I'm going to emboss down here as well and I'm going to be embossing with the white I want this to stand out so I'm going to add a little bit more depth down here some of the mermaid blue as well. Okay, let's see how we get on with that. I'm going to dry that off and also use my anti-static bag before I emboss because you know what embossing powder is like it tends to stick to anything that's slightly damp so we want to try and make sure it doesn't stick to anything else so I'm going to make sure this is completely dry Let's take our Versamark now, which is our glue for our embossing powders. I'm using the opaque bright white for this one. So pop that down. Again, I'm going to do another one up here. And I'll then last one down here. Now it's a little bit hard to see because it's clear, but if you do turn it to the light, there is a slight shine to it. So make sure that you use your embossing powders straight away while it's still wet. So I'm going to tap that off and hopefully it's sticking where I want it to stick. Now we can take our brush and just take any of that powder off where we don't want it. It's not too bad. I think we're good to go on that. So let's heat that now. And you can see that lovely white flower coming through now and that really does make it stand out so much more. Okay, I feel that we need a little bit more down here. So I'm going to add one more of the um, embossing powders just down the bottom here. There it is. 
just balances it out that little bit more and you can keep on adding to it it's entirely up to you now we can start using our Posca pens just to add a little bit of colour down here so I'm going to use the turquoise uh, let's have a look see what this colour is called it's, it is aqua green so I'm just going to add a few little dots in and around those lovely flowers Also going to add a little bit of the confetti over the top. Just going to mute that white down a little bit so it's not quite as stark. Okay. yellow here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow in and around as well like I did with the aqua. Now if you haven't got these colours that's absolutely fine you can use any colours that you've got as long as they stand out against what we've the background we've got there. And then Let's have a look see which colour stands out on these now. That one's quite a nice one. So I'm just dotting the seed heads. Now I've picked an orange to stand out. So I'm just dotting in these little seed heads. Great, okay. I've got the white here, so I'm going to do a few little dots of that white as well. And I've got this flower as well. Let's dot those in white. Okay, moving on. I'm going to use the yellow now and this is just to pull out that dandelion. Just a hint of yellow to make it stand out a little bit more. Great. Might just put a few little dots on the dandelion as well. Great. We're going to do a little bit of the stickles now. This is the green. I'm going to add a little bit down at the bottom here. I'm just going to randomly pop it about. And then using my finger, I'm just going to dab it. Gorgeous green. And then we have this one. This is the uh, golden rod thistle. And I'm going to just add a little bit to the stems. Little flower stems. And around the dandelion head as well. That glitter just looks fabulous. Just 
just makes it pop. Okay guys, I do hope that you enjoyed watching today. I really enjoyed making it. And I hope that it's inspired you to have a go yourselves using some of the new stamps. You take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.